Welcome everyone, I'm Manuela Marcajani from Isomer Skincare. I'm a cosmetic chemist, a formulator, researcher, and manufacturer. We are vertically integrated at Isomer Skincare, and we've been working in the skincare industry for over 30 years. So we know a couple of things about skincare. And today we're gonna to talk about uh, some ingredients to look out for, especially if you're on an anti-aging um, routine or you're curious about anti-aging. You want to really help your skin to look as young and fresh as possible. So here we go. First ingredient to look out for for anti-aging, sunscreen. You want a broad spectrum sunscreen. You want to be able to protect your skin against the UVA, UVB rays. And this is really important. And the reason why we want to do this is the UV rays, the UV radiation, breaks down the collagen or the protein bonds of the skin. And this is where you start to see uh, rapid aging, accelerated aging, premature aging, if you will. So you'll get sun damage or pigmentation issues, lines and wrinkles. It does break down the quality of your skin. So in essence, it doesn't really matter what you do all day long. You could use the best skincare, the most expensive skincare at nighttime, and you could do a one or a, you know, a 50 step routine at night to rebuild your skin. But if you don't wear sunscreen in the day, if you don't protect your skin from the UVAs, UV rays, A's and B's, but if you don't protect it from the UV rays, you are going to damage your skin and you are going to still see this aging. So it's it's like if you're going to take the time to do the work in the evening or, or are you going to take the time to invest in really good quality skincare with really good actives, you also need to be smart about your skin and protect it against the damage that the environment and the sun causes. It's really that simple. And this is, it's not a secret, it's not a magic way of doing it. It just makes sense scientifically, it makes sense for you even just economically. So, number one, anti-aging sunscreen. Another ingredient for anti-aging that uh, you should look out for are retinoids. Retinoids, that big umbrella term of the retinols, the retinaldehyde or retinoic acid. Why? Well, these are, an, for me, there's, there's a lot of uh, controversy right now talking about should you use them also in the daytime or only at night. I'm a big believer, my retinoids, my retinols at nighttime. And the reason is there has been research or things to suggest that in the daytime, the UV, the exact same radiation, kind of just make it just just nullifies neutralizes the effect of the retinoids so think about this if the retinoid is being neutralized in the daytime it's not working so why bother putting it on so let's put it on at nighttime and at nighttime the benefit of the retinol uh, the retinoids is that it's going to help with the skin repair it's going to help build the collagen stimulate the collagen work on the pigmentation these are all anti-aging functions. So these are workhorses to build the skin. Nighttime, I always think about building routine. Daytime, I think about a protecting routine. Another ingredient to look out for for anti-aging are the peptides. Now peptides, again, huge umbrella term. Don't just think, oh, this has peptides in it and it's the same as this, this product with peptides in it. No. Think about peptides like programs. Each peptide is a specific kind of programmed molecule. It, each one, each peptide is, has a different name, you know, oligotripeptide 1, acetylhexapeptide 8. They all have a different name. The name explains what it does or it shows you the shape of the molecule and therefore what it is designed to do. So when you're looking at peptides, not all peptides are created equal, but a couple of peptides to look for for anti-aging would be your collagen peptide, would be maybe a copper peptide as well. Um, those are the kind of peptides that you would want to look for. You would want to look for peptides that their job is to signal to the skin to create or stimulate collagen, or to signal to your skin to protect your skin against UV irradiation. Those are the kind of things that you want to look out for in your anti-aging skincare ingredient. Another ingredient to look out for 
for anti-aging um, is ceramides, are ceramides. Ceramides are sphingolipids. Ceramides are very important for the skin barrier function. You think about your skin like a brick wall, uh, okay? And so you have the layered bricks and in between the bricks is that mortar to hold the bricks together. This is the kind of structure your skin is. You have your cells, you have the ceramides, those fats that are holding the cells together. When you don't have enough ceramides, when your ceramides are compromised, that means that you can have a lot of water loss in your skin. Your skin is also flatter or thinner. It doesn't have enough cushion or protection in it. That's also why another great ingredient to utilize for anti-aging is also hyaluronate because that also will fit through and around the skin, especially on the surface layers and create more buoyancy with the ceramides. So that's gonna help lock in more moisture. It's gonna help also smooth out that skin surface. And that's also going to give you a much more youthful, line-free look. Another ingredient to look out for in anti-aging skincare are your antioxidants. Antioxidants protect against free radical damage, right? So that is a lot of environmental stressors and they help neutralize these free radicals. So in essence, they're, they're there to protect your skin, either from oxidative stress or as a booster. So a couple of those antioxidants to look out for, my favorites are niacinamide, glutathione, and vitamin C with ferulic. You can't go wrong with any of those three. And if you want to rotate those every once in a while or use them together in combination, I just think they have a synergistic effect. I think that they're very good because you want some antioxidant in your skincare, you want a retinoid in your skincare, you want peptides in your skincare and ceramides, and finally, of course, you want the sunscreen to protect you all day long. I hope you enjoyed our conversation on ingredients to look out for, for anti-aging, and I hope you like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll talk to you again soon.